Ooh, we're gonna have fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's nighttime in the big city. A woman steps carefully over a broken wine bottle. Television is still on. It's theme time radio hour with your host, Bob Dylan. It's a cozy table, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I like it too. <laughs> yes, I do like it. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Welcome once again to Theme Time Radio Hour. And I hope you brought an appetite, because tonight we're going to peruse the musical menu. We got a bill of fare that is truly appetizing, so I hope you're eager to dig in. We're going to start things off with an invitation by Cab Calloway, a man who can be seen in animated form in a number of Betty Boop cartoons. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Here's the hidey ho man himself, with everybody eats when they come to my house. So have a banana hammer and try the salami tummy. Have a pancake, Mandrake. Cab Calloway. Have a banana, Hannah. Try the salami, Tommy. Give with the gravy, Davy. Everybody eats when they come to my house. Try a tomato plate, too. Here's cacciatore, Dory. Taste the bologna, Tony. Everybody eats when they come to my house. I fix your favorite dishes. Hoping this good food fills ya. Work my hands to the bone in the kitchen alone. You better eat if it kills ya. Pass me a pancake, mandrake. Having a derby, Irvy. Look in the fender, Mendel. Everybody eats when they come to my house. Hannah, Davy, Tommy, Dora. When they come to my house Pasta Fazula, Tolula Oh, do have a bagel, bagel Now don't be so bashful, Nashville Everybody eats when they come to my house Hey, this is a party, Marty There, you get the cherry, Jerry Now look, don't be so picky, Mickey Cause everybody eats when they come to my house all of my friends are welcome Don't make me coax you, moke you Eat the tables, the chairs, the napkins, who cares? You gotta eat if it chokes you Oh, do have a knish, knisha Ask him the latke, matke Chili con carne for Bonnie Everybody eats when they come to my house Face, buster, share Chops, fump, everybody eats when they come to my house. Everybody eats when they come to my That was Cab Calloway, setting the table for us. Dizzy Gillespie, who we're going to hear from a little later, was in Cab Calloway's band. Cab didn't like the early bebop that Dizzy was developing. He used to call it Chinese music. Dizzy got fired by a cab after an incident in 1941. Cab was singing on stage, so of course he had his back to the rest of the band. He was hit by spitballs. He accused Dizzy of being the culprit. Dizzy denied it, and the two began to fight. Dizzy grabbed the knife and actually cut Cab. Even after Jonah Jones and Milt Hinton admitted that they were the villains, Dizzy was still fired. He later went on to be one of the founders of Bebop. Oh, 
Before we go too far, we gotta pay some bills. So here's a message from Battle Creek, Michigan, and the good folks at Kellogg's. Wake up in the morning, there's a snap around the place. Wake up in the morning, there's a crackle in your face. Wake up in the morning, there's a pop that really says, Christ, this is to you, and you, and you. For all the milk and listen to the stand that says it's nice. For all the milk and listen to the crackle of that rice. Get up in the morning, do the pop that says it's rice. Hear them talking, Chris. Boy, I could go for a ball right now. But we're going to be eating good here on Theme Time Radio Hour. Matter of fact, we're going to go high on the hog right now. Travel down to Memphis with some good greasy barbecue. This is Wendy Renee, the singer who recorded for Stax Records. She toured in New York City with Rufus Thomas. And when she got back to Memphis, her parents were upset because she brought a monkey that she purchased as a pet in the Big Apple. Wendy was still a teenager, and the monkey was messing up her parents' house. You can imagine how much they fought. Here's Wendy Renee and Barbecue. Wendy Renee smelling something in the air, and you know it smells like some good old barbecue, Memphis style. If you're going down to Memphis and looking for some barbecue, you can't do better than the barbecue shop over on Madison. Tell them Theme Time Radio Hour sent you. Hard salami! Sometimes when you look at a menu, it's hard to decide what to get. Life is like that, full of difficult choices. Here's Lincoln Chase, caught between the devil in the deep blue sea and the temptation of the biscuit bell. Hot biscuits and sweet Marie. Oh, hot biscuits and sweet Marie, caught between the devil and the deep blue sea. Oh, what a choice to be made by me between a hot biscuit and sweet Marie. Mama, mama, tell me, what am I gonna do? I've got a choice to make between Sweet Marie and you I love my sweet Maria Oh, how she can kiss But if I leave you, mama, these hot biscuits I will miss Oh, hot biscuits and sweet Marie Caught between the devil and the deep blue sea Oh, what a choice to be made by me between A hot biscuit and Tell me, what am I gonna say? My sweet Marie is waiting to 
take my heart away But every time I'm ready to meet my sweet Marie That is the time you choose to ring the biscuit bell for me Sweet, sweet lovin', Lincoln Chase, ringin' the biscuit bell. Link wrote Jim Dandy for Laverne Baker and teamed up with his wife, Shirley Ellis, to do songs like The Nitty Gritty and the top ten hit, The Name Game, Banana Fanna Foe Fanna. But here, he's talking about trying to decide between biscuits and lovin'. Wow, that's a hard choice. It's very in to eat out. And very out to eat in. But the smartest eating of all is to eat out, 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 right in. One of the greatest figures in modern jazz was bassist, pianist, band leader, composer, and vocalist Charles Mingus. He led groups noted for their collective improvisations, loose rhythms, and high energy. He was a serious musician with a strong sense of humor. His autobiography, Beneath the Underdog, is riveting reading. Here's how it begins. In other words, I am three. One man stands forever in the middle, unconcerned, unmoved, watching, waiting to be allowed to express what he sees to the other two. The second man is like a frightened animal that attacks for fear of being attacked. Then there's an overloving, gentle person who lets people into the uttermost sacred temple of his being, and he'll take insults and be trusting and sign contracts without reading them, and get talked down to working cheap or for nothing. And when he realizes what's been done to him, he feels like killing and destroying everything around him, including himself, for being so stupid. But he can't. He goes back inside himself. Which one is real? They're all real. The man who watches and waits, the man who attacks because he's afraid, and the man who wants to trust and love, but retreats each time he finds himself betrayed. Mingus, one, two, and three, which is the image you want the world to see? Here's Mingus's one, two, and three, with a song called Eat That Chicken. Oh, Lord, I, I want to eat it, eat that chicken. Oh, Lord, I wanna eat that chicken, that chicken pie. 
that chicken there, boy. That was Charles Mingus, the innovative jazz musician, with Eat That Chicken. Chicken parts. Every one of them's good. John Montague was the fourth Earl of Sandwich. He became the first Lord of the Admiralty and was patron to Captain James Cook, who explored New Zealand, Australia, Hawaii, and Polynesia. Captain Cook named the Hawaiian Islands after him, calling them the Sandwich Islands. But no matter what else he did, he's going to be remembered as the man who took some meat and tucked it between two pieces of bread. And lo and behold, the sandwich was born. Here are some popular sandwiches. The grilled cheese sandwich. The Cubano sandwich, which is a Cuban sandwich said with an accent. The French dip sandwich, which is dipped in au jus. The ham and cheese sandwich. We've all had these sandwiches. The peanut butter and jelly sandwich. New Orleans favorite, the mufaletta. For Philadelphia, the cheese steak, the grinder, the hoagie, the dagwood, the reuben. But perhaps the mightiest sandwich of all is the hamburger. Wimpy's favorite. I'll have a hamburger, for which I will gladly pay you Tuesday. So let's go to the hamburger hop, along with Johnny Hicks, a man that sounds like he's got a smile in his voice. He's here with his band, the Troubadours, and they're going to the hamburger hop on theme time radio hour. But the word is food, and it's a good word. Now, if you want something that's good and hot, just eat a hamburger, it'll hit the spot. You can see them on the griddle going flippity-flop. Makes you want to do the boogie to the hamburger hop. They're open up 24 hours a day. Just waiting and hoping all the folks will say, put a burger on the griddle, do a flippity-flop. Put an onion in the middle and a pickle on top. Just ain't nothing finer, nothing that's quite so new, than jigging it with them to the sizzle and rhythm like the burgers always do. You really should go, cause it swept the land, and everybody's going to the hamburger stand. When they put them on the griddle, do a flippity-flop, everybody does the boogie to the hamburger hop. Makes you want to do the boogie to the hamburger hop They're open up 24 hours a day Just waiting and hoping all the folks will say Put a burger on the griddle, do a flippity-flop Put an onion in the middle and a pickle on top There just ain't nothing finer Nothing that's quite so new Than jigging it with them to the sizzle and rhythm Like the burgers always do You really should go, cause it swept the land Everybody's going to the hamburger stand When they put them on the griddle Do a flippity-flop Everybody does the boogie To the hamburger hop That was Johnny Hicks and Hamburger Hop On the sumptuous banquet That is the theme time radio hour food show For a most delicious snack to eat for car side service that can't be beat for the best hamburgers. Real treat. Drive in. Drive in. Another great activity that goes along with dinner is theater. Dinner theaters are located all over the United States, and it gives you a chance to see some of your favorite stars up close and personal. Burt Reynolds owned a famous dinner theater in Jupiter Beach, Florida. I gotta call, Bert, and see if it's still open. Down in Jamaica, they cook a dish called jerk chicken. It's sweet, it's peppery, and it's delicious. I wonder if that's the meal that the Melodians were singing about in this song, Swing and Dine. I can't believe you want to leave so soon. The party's just began now. Don't go away. Swing and dine and dance for your money. Swing 
purple rain and you've heard of the purple haze but have you heard about the purple stew as the old saying goes some days you eat the bear and some days the bear eats you here's a song about a guy who finds himself about to be served up as the main course stew meat purple stew by thurston harris i was uh rolling through the jungle the other day came across some purple people leaders along the way. They took me and threw me in a great big pot. Man, I'm telling you, yeah, it sure was hot. And they kept saying, having a purple pot. Whip, weird, whip, whip, weird. Serving a purple stew. Do, 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 do. Purple potatoes and purple tomatoes and you. To the witch doctor, please hear my plea. So he drew a pretty girl in the pop with me. I said, uh, Hello, baby, how do you do? Fancy meeting you in a purple stew. And they kept saying, Having a purple pop, whip, 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 whip. Baby, I mean, I dig them for you. Ooh, ooh, ee, ee. A sugar, are you a flipper of me? Kiss, 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 kiss. Me, want them kiss. But how am I gonna get out of a mess like this? Well, they start dancing to some old rock and roll. So I suggested that I teach them how to screw. While me and pretty baby made our escape all right Cause we kept strolling through the jungle till we were out of sight And they kept singing Having a purple pot Whip, 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 whip Having a purple stew Do, 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 do. That was Thurston Harris, who recorded with the Lamplighters and did a song with them called Bebop Wino. 
but he went off on his own, and his biggest hit was Little Bitty Pretty One. Personally, I think Purple Stew should have been a big hit. This is Theme Time Radio Hour, and we're talking all about food. I was having dinner with our announcer, Pierre Mancini. The only difference between Pierre Mancini and a canoe is that sometimes a canoe will tip. And now it's time to put on the skillet and serve up a healthy portion of shortening bread. Here's Paul Champlain and his emeralds. Shortening bread. Put on the skillet. Chaplain and his emeralds. As far as I know, they only made one record. What else did they need to make? That's Shortening Bread. America first fell in love with the song Shortening Bread when Lawrence Tibbet, who was the principal with the Metropolitan Opera, made a recording of it. Nelson Eddy sang it in the movie Maytime in 1937. But I bet neither of those versions rock as successfully as Paul Chaplain and his emeralds. Your favorite cut of juicy beef Cooked so it melts in your mouth Your family will love our steakhouse Give us your poor, your tired, your huddled masses Yearning to be free That's what it says on the Statue of Liberty And America is certainly the great melting pot Where else could someone like Slim Gaylor Sing a tribute to matzo balls and get filter fish. It's the kind of thing that makes me proud to be an American. Sing it, Slim. Oh, well, the matzo balls, gefilte fish. Best no dish I ever, ever had. Now, matzo balls and gefilte fish makes you order up an extra dish. Matzo balls, gefilte fish. Really, really, really very fine. Now you put a little horseradish on it and make it very mellow because it really knocks you right on out. Fine, Thank you. 
well, I'm not so boss. Cavill the fish, the best old dish I ever, ever had. La matzo ball, cavill the fish, it makes you order up an extra dish. Matzo ball, cavill the fish, with a little hot radish on the side. Makes it mellow, makes it shallow, mellow as a shallow boy. Hot radish with matzo ball. Matzo ball stew. That was Slim Gaylor on Theme Time Radio Hour, serving up some matzo balls. Putting a little horseradish on them. I was having dinner the other day, and the waiter came over. I said to him, there's a fly in my soup. And he said, that's very possible. The cook used to be a tailor. My friend's wife is a really bad cook. I broke a tooth on her coffee. Here's a man named Jim Jackson, a songster from the medicine shows of Memphis, recorded this song with a field recording team in the Memphis Auditorium, a song with the unlikely title, I Heard the Voice of a Pork Chop and my stomach sent a telegram to my throat. Ah, oh, don't that sound good? It sounds good to me. Oh, it certainly does now. Oh, stow it up, will you, wife? Don't that sound good? I walked and I walked and I walked and I walked. I stopped for the rest of my feet. I'd sit down on an old oak tree. There I went fast to sleep. I dreamt by sitting in a swell cafe as hungry as a bear. My stomach sent a telegram to my throat. There's a wreck on the road somewhere. I heard the voice of a pork chop say, come on to me and rest. Will you talk about your stewing beef? I know what's the best. Will you talk about your chicken? Ham and egg, turkey stuffed in dress. But I heard the voice of a pork chop say, come on to me and rest. Oh, shit. Ain't that good? Oh, ain't that nice? Ain't it nice to be nice when you can be nice? Oh, yeah. Don't I do this thing? I know I'm doing this. It just suits me. I know it suits you, too. I walk and I walk and I walk and I walk. I stop where there is my feet. I sit down on an old oak tree. Damn, went fast to sleep. I drip, I sit in a swell cafe, hungry as a bear. My stomach sent a telegram to my throat. There's a wreck on the road somewhere. I heard the voice of a pork chop say, come on to me and rest. Well, you talk about your stewing beef. I know what's the best. Well, you talk about your chicken, ham and egg, turkey stuffed in dress. But I heard the voice of a pork chop say, come on to me and rest. I heard the voice of a pork chop say, come on to me and rest. Will you talk about your stewing beef? But I know what's the best. Will you talk about the chicken ham and egg, turkey stuff and dress? But I heard the voice of a pork chop say, come on to me and rest. Oh, don't I do this. I know I'm doing this yet. Don't I pick that thing? It just suits me. I know y'all is tickled to death at it. I heard the voice of a pork chop. Come on to me and rest. Will you talk about your stewing beef? I know what's the best. Will you talk about your chicken ham and egg? Turkey stuffed and dress. But I heard the voice of a pork chop say, Come on to me and rest. Yeah, I heard the voice of a pork chop say, Come on to me and rest. Will you talk about your stewing beef? I know what's the best. Will you talk about the chicken ham and egg, turkey stuffed and dress? But I heard the voice of a pork chop say, come on, tell me and rest. Jim Jackson, shucks, ain't that good. I heard the voice of a pork chop. If you want to see Jim, take a look at King Vidor's All Black 1929 film, Hallelujah. Jim Jackson's popularity was surprisingly phenomenal. He waxed 50 titles in less than three years. His last recording session was in February 1930, and after that, he returned to his hometown of Hernando, Mississippi, where he passed away in 1937. The voice of the pork chop was stilled forever. I never heard one, but I imagine pork chops had a distinctive voice. Pork chops! Someone I know who had a distinctive voice was Allen Ginsberg. But you can judge for yourself in this poem, A Supermarket in California. I saw you, Walt Whitman, childless, lonely old grubber, poking among the meats in the refrigerator and eyeing the grocery boys. I heard you asking questions of each. Who killed the pork chops? What price bananas? 
a Yuma angel. I wandered in and out of the brilliant stacks of cans, following you and followed in my imagination by the store detective. We strolled down the open corridors together in our solitary, fancy-tasting artichokes, possessing every frozen delicacy and never passing the cashier. Where are you going, Walt Whitman? The doors close in an hour. Which way does your beard point tonight? The Beat Poets were all big fans of bebop. And here's the king of bebop, the spitball king, playing some of his Chinese music. Dizzy Gillespie on the Atkins diet. Hey, Pete, let's eat more meat. Mm, no pork, just beef. Crazy daddy <laughs> That was a Pete, let's eat more meat, recorded for the Victor record label back in the 40s. He wanted to have his cake and eat it too, but he could always bring home the bacon. Dizzy Gillespie on the all meat edition of Theme Time Radio Hour, where we're working up an appetite as we talk about food. The bravest man in the world was the first man who swallowed an oyster. Truer words were never spoken, unless they were the words by Moliere. One must eat to live, not live to eat. One person who didn't always take that advice was Orson Welles. He said, My doctor told me to stop having intimate dinners for four, unless there are three other people there. Chuck Roast! One guy who recorded a lot of songs about food is our old friend Louis Jordan. And here's one that was written by Mr. Julie London. Her second husband, Bobby Troop, the man who also wrote Route 66. Here's Louis Jordan and his Timpany Five and Hungry Man. I know a chef in Albuquerque who excels in bacon turkey. 
So when I want turkey, I go to Albuquerque, cause I'm such a hungry man. There is a cook in East St. Louis who makes the most delicious chop suey. So when I want chop suey, I go to East St. Louis, cause I'm such a hungry man. Duncan Hines, he ain't got nothing on me. I've been known to drive alone to Butte, Montana, to get a banana split. They got a fish house in Old Pawtucket that serves you steamed clams in a bucket. So for clams in a bucket, I go to Old Pawtucket, cause I'm such a hungry man. I take a train to downtown Philly, where I eat scrapple till I get silly. I also eat a lot there of the pepper pot they got there, cause I'm such a hungry man. I often fly up to the main coast to get broiled lobster with some plain toast to keep from being melancholy. I munch a Mexican tamale, cause I'm such a hungry man. That's one of my favorite snacks Nothing beats a piece of pizza Out in Laguna I get my tuna fish I met a gal in Tucumcari And she's the one I plan to marry Now she was fat and not good looking But when she started cooking mm, 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 I'm such a hungry man Montana to get a banana split. I met a gal in Tucumcari, and she's the one I plan to marry. Now she was fat, and not good looking, but when she started cooking, that's where love began. Cause I'm such a hungry man. That was the consummate entertainer, Louis Jordan, not just singing, but also playing that wild alto saxophone. And he's got quite an appetite. He's a hungry man. This is Theme Time Radio Hour with an all-you-can-eat buffet of themes, dreams, and schemes. It tastes so good, it tastes so good. Time out for an email. This one comes from Jane Athanas from Amarillo, Texas. She writes, Dear Theme Time, I heard you were going to do a show about food. I couldn't be happier. I love food. Could you play my favorite food song, Saturday Night Fish Fry by Louis Jordan? I'd sir appreciate it. Ah, oh, gee, Jane, I'm sorry. We just played Louis Jordan. I'll tell you what. I know a great version of the same song by a band called the Blue Dots. It was on Ace Records, and it's really wild. Here it is. Thanks for listening. Well, if you ever been i 
the blue dots, heading off to a Saturday night fish fry. Sounds like a wild affair. If you're going to a fish fry, you might want to bring some cod, or sole, or flounder, perhaps a whitefish fillet, or some salmon. I myself enjoy some catfish. Whatever it is, it's good and healthy eating. One, two, one, two, three, four. You know, I'm in the mood for another hamburger. Here's Bobby Moore and the Rhythm Aces singing a song about the hamburger. The Hamburger Song. You can't see any minute, Gypsalini, who pop, pop, balloon. I check out your liberace, I love you. Take a peach, take a plum, take a piece of bubble gum. No peach, no plum, just a piece of bubble gum. Hey, boy, what's your name? Jody, what you eat? Hamburger, give me some greedy. Jump out the window, saying, any minute, Gypsalini, who pop, pop, balloon. I check out your liberace, I love you. You can't see it. Eat it, mean it, just a lean it. Ooh, pop, pop, believe me. I check out your liver, I check, I love you. Take a piece, take a plum, take a piece of bubble gum. No piece, no plum, just a piece of bubble gum. Hey, boy, what's your name? Jody, what you eat? Hamburger, give me some greedy. Jump out the window, say, eat it, mean it, just a lean it. Ooh, pop, pop, believe me. I check out your liver, I check, I love you. Yeah. That was Bobby Moore and the Rhythm Aces, the hamburger song, a song that sort of sounds like a nursery rhyme. If you're sick of hamburgers and you're in the mood for a hot dog and you're in the Los Angeles area, get in line at Pink's on La Brea near Melrose. You're going to have to wait a while, but it's worth it. Get them with chili and onion, but don't stand too near anybody afterwards. George Bernard Shaw once said, There is no sincerer love than the love of food. Cervantes once said, Hunger is the best sauce in the world. The Detroit Cobra said, Watch me eat a hot dog. Three different ways of saying the same exact thing. Here are the Detroit Cobras. Hot dog. Come on, baby. I got no time to waste.
Those are the Detroit Cobras. Watch me eat a hot dog. We all watched Takiro Kobayashi break the world record by eating 53 and one half Nathan's hot dogs with buns in 12 minutes. He's 132 pounds from Nagano, Japan, and he is a championship hot dog eater. In 2005, he once again obliterated the competition in Coney Island by eating 50 hot dogs in less than 12 minutes. Way to go, Takiru. Hot dogs. I hope you didn't fill up too much, because we still got to have dessert. Here are the four clefts they recorded for the Bluebird record label out of Chicago. William Chapman, James Marshall, Johnny Green, and Melvin Chapman. From 1941, I like pie, I like cake. I like pie, I like cake. I like anything you bake. I like your crackers too, crumbled up in chicken stew. When I see your jelly roll, then I lose my self-control. But of all these things, I like you best of all, yeah. on the piano, the four clefts. I like pie, I like cake. And that's true, too. I do like pie and cake. Sometimes you eat more than you should. And when it's spicy besides, mama mia, do you need Alka-Seltzer. Alka-Seltzer can help unstuff you, relieve the acid indigestion, and help make you your old self again. Mama mia, that's a spicy meatball. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm full. I don't know if I can eat another bite. I'm going to go out jogging, see if I can work some of this meal off. I'll see you next week on Theme Time Radio Hour, the home of dreams, themes, and schemes, and a hot steaming meal. You don't mind picking up the check, do you?